Look at this. See that big ass bruise going on my arm? I hurt myself lifting up a 500 pound cinder block. Or helping with the 500 pound cinder block. That's a lie. I was not helping with the 500 pound cinder block. It was a dresser, but it was a heavy dresser. A really huge, heavy dresser. And I've, it slipped from the dolly. It slipped from the dolly. The dolly didn't have a strap. It's dangerous what we were doing. With a muscle poise. Started sliding and I had to grab it. It was huge. No fear. No fear, no pain. Eh? What's up, everybody? It's Yashu. Here's a real word to anybody who needs it right now. You're gonna have setbacks sometimes in life. And when they hit you, it's gonna feel like you're on shaky ground. But that's okay. That's not a sign that it's time to give up. That's a sign that it's time to go harder. Because you got blessings on the other side of the struggle waiting for you, you know? It's just, it's gonna be hard for you to realize it if you just give up on everything. Like, you're growing a plant, you know? You plant the seed in the ground, and then you water it, you're caring for it. Maybe you know a little something about, you know, energy and science, and you're even talking to it, playing music to it. And it's growing, it's flourishing well, but you don't know that because it hasn't broken through the surface yet. It's underneath the ground, sprouting up. Right? But the surface level is here and it's just beneath the surface growing, growing, growing and then you just stop. You just stop watering it, stop caring for it, stop believing that it's going to be something grand and great and beautiful and then its growth ceases. The possibility of it becoming a great, grand, beautiful thing ceases. That's you and your potential, yo. Straight up. Let me tell y'all something. As a professional poker player, if you are not of sound mind, it's easy for you to get discouraged because we take losses, yo. Like, you know, we don't win every time. I mean, I got a pretty great batting average, but <laughs> I don't win every time. Nobody wins every time. It's not giving up on what you want most that gets you through the things and brings you out on the other side better than you were going into it. It's that, you know, it's dedication. The dedication should really only be given to something that you have a real passion for, you know, something that you really want to accomplish. However small or big that is, it should be something that you really want. Because if you want it bad enough to keep going, even after you get knocked on your ass, then you can become Rocky. You can be a success story, you know? And he wasn't the best boxer in the world. For anybody that's seen Rocky, he was just someone who did not give up, period. He would not quit. He just keep taking punches. Hey, hey, come on, let's, let's see what you got. Hey, yeah. That all you got? Yeah. 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 Hey, go down a little more. Yeah. <laughs> and he just wouldn't go down, you know? Tenacity. He wanted that belt baddest. Well, really, in the story, the first one, he just wanted to go to distance. He didn't want the championship. He wanted to go to distance. And he went to distance. He got what he wanted because he wanted it bad. Put everything into just that and accomplish that. Who knows what would have happened if his desire was to become champion. It's a movie, but ah, it inspires the same kind of way. It means the same thing, you know what I mean? So, y'all, I, I just want y'all to be encouraged and just to know that like you can accomplish anything you want. Fear is going to be the only thing that tries to stand between you and that. And that fear will manifest itself in different ways. And people, you know, friends who do you wrong some kind of way, a business partner that does you wrong some kind of way, some financial setback, it could be anything but they're not really what you make them out to be. They're not these grand, big problems. They're really small, like, bumps in the road. And you're the driver who's thinking like, damn it, I'm hitting these bumps, damn it, I'm hitting these bumps. But if you were a sound mind person, then you know your car's gonna be just fine. Your wheel's not gonna fall off because you hit a little bump in the road. Everything's okay <laughs> if you but tell yourself it is. And then even if you did hit a little bump in the road, did something to your brakes, there's nothing that can't be, you know, fixed. It's all what you make it, you know? If you don't make a problem bigger than it is, it won't be big, it'll stay small. If you make the solutions or the great things, the things that take the fear away and instead make you hopeful, instead make you feel strong, feel good, joyous. If you promote those things in your mind, those things will have a bigger impact on you and your life. It'll show up bigger and better than anything fear's got behind it. It has no ammunition that can pierce, you know, a, a fucking solid-minded person, a solid king or queen, a solid man or woman. There's nothing that 
that fear can fucking do. It's just like the baby, you know, the three-year-old that wants to, you know, whine and scream and cry and show that they're the boss because you're gonna feed me, why? But really, they're harmless, you know? And their only power is that you tell them they have power with your actions, you know? with the things that you allow them to make you do. You know what I mean? If your child told you that he would body slam you, your three-year-old told you he would body slam you if you didn't get him any applesauce, you might not be that afraid. If you are afraid though, your fear will tell you that there's enough here to be afraid of, and then maybe you get the little man some applesauce. Like, man, I ain't trying to get on my back today. Just chill, all right? <laughs> fear is the loud baby that won't shut up unless you tell it to shut up. You never give it what it wants because it spoils it and then it wants it more. You don't give it surrender because that's what it's going to want more. You don't give it weakness because that's what it's going to want more. Be smart. Be a strong fucking parent. You're the parent of your life, motherfuckers. You're the parent of your life. Be the parent of your life, yo. Be, the, be a good fucking parent.